Hi everyone, in this video we are going to install VMware Workstation Player. So this is actually a virtualization software and in this video we will be uh, downloading it and installing it. So to download it, go to google.com and write VMware Workstation Player download as you can see here in the search bar and press enter. And uh, as it's actually this is a free software and when you enter it, this is the first link which I'm going to click because this is their official site, vmware.com. Click there and then if we scroll down a bit, you can see here, we have VMware, excuse me, yes. So we have, we have VMware for uh, Windows here on the left hand side and here we have for Linux. Try Workstation 17 player for Windows and here you have download now tab, click there. And then now you can see it has started downloading this VMware player for us, which will enable us to create multiple virtual machines. So VMware player will help us to create multiple virtual machines on our computer and then on our computer uh, when we will have these virtual machine we can practice some of the activities which will be useful for maybe learning ethical hacking or pen testing. So once this software has been downloaded I will be back and I'll show you the, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now Workstation 17 player for Windows machine has been downloaded and if we just go to our downloads folder, you can see this is VMware player full and this is the exe file and to install it just we need to double click it and depending on the speed of our laptop or the computer, it will start installing it and for me you can see it's showing that it's preparing for installation. And meanwhile, I want to emphasize that this virtualization software is for free and we can use it to create multiple virtual machines on our computer. And yes, now you can see here shows that it's asking for permission. Do you want to allow this uh, app to make changes to your device? We say yes. And now you can see this has uh, started installing the, the software on our computer show it automatically preparing to install here and then we click next and then we have to accept the terms in the license agreement we click next and here it says that do you want to install it on C drive so maybe in my case I would like to change this so maybe I'll just install it on my D drive and then I cl click OK and then we click next, next, and you can see here it says that shortcut for VMware will be created on desktop. We click next, install, and now this is installing this VMware workstation player on our computer. Now this software has been installed and we just have to click finish and after this uh, we should have uh, the shortcut on our desktop or maybe we can click here on the search bar we can say VMware so it should show us a uh, uh, VMware player so in this machine I also have Oracle VM virtual box but at the moment we have this VMware workstation 17 player so click there and uh, yeah you, you will have that shortcut on your desktop as well. So here it says that this is a VM, uh, use VMware Workstation 17 player for free for non-commercial use. Yes, for us this is a non-commercial use. We are using it for learning purpose. So we click on continue and say we finish. And then this will show us the screen which we will be using to create new virtual machines at the first link you can see. And we, if you want to maybe open a virtual machine so you can just open virtual machine from there as well and then this is the following software is available for download maybe at the moment we say skip this version at the moment we can we can do it later but at the moment this is what i wanted to show you here so now we have this vmware workstation 17 player ready for us to use and maybe in our next video we'll try to import or install some virtual machines using vmware workstation player so thank you thank you very